everybody, welcome to a brand new playthrough called Lords of the Fallen. I've talked about this a while back that I was going to be uh, doing uh, Lords of the Fallen because I was told it's like a Souls-like game. And we finished Dark Souls 3 already. Um, I'm waiting for the DLC for Dark Souls 3. So in the meantime, this is the summertime. It's usually the summertime. It really has a, uh, how can I say, uh, a downward or has like a spill where... Uh, a dry spell, rather, where you know there's not much going on. There's not many new games. Uh, but usually for me, I haven't, I don't play every single game under the sun immediately. Like you know, people like Darkside Phil or maybe a couple of these other big YouTubers. Um, I tend to get the game when I actually have either money or when it's on sale. Now, Lords of the Fallen, I picked up on a sale. It was a, it used to be it was thirty dollars rather to get the digital version, the complete edition, uh, but they actually had the, the, the game on sale for um, almost like 60-something, 70% off, so it was, ended up being like uh, 12, it was like $12, I think it was eleven ninety nine or something, I could be wrong, I think it was twelve ninety nine or twelve tw $11.99 or twelve ninety nine, and I'm like, oh shit, this is amazing. I need to, I need to play this. I need to get this now because then I can have something to record going to the summertime. Um, and I also there's also Destiny I have, I've been playing on my own. I may actually do live streaming of Destiny if I want. Uh, maybe my brand new character. I'm, I'm probably not gonna do like a let's play on it, but I will save the videos on my Twitch account and when I when I test it out before I start saving all this stuff. So. There's that. So obviously, Lords of the Fall is a new game I just recently picked up. I know next to nothing about the game, but this is all the DLC I have. I have the Lionheart pack, the Arcane boost, the Fountain boost, the Monk's Decipher. Oh, that, that guy over there looks pretty crazy. I also have the Demonic weapons. I have the Ancient Labyrinth. So I have like a ton of DLC. I get to explore my leisure. I'm expecting this to be like an RPG. And this guy looks pretty cool. Look, he's pretty badass. Look at this guy. I like his markings. It looks like the markings. He looks pretty tough. He kind of reminds me a little bit of Kratos without the markings on there, maybe. Uh, yes, I'm aware of the reboot of God of War. So I, I'll, I'll talk about this on, the, on my E3 talk. Uh, my vlogging video where I just talk about primarily about what's going on with the E3 stuff. I'll jot down some of the stuff I've heard, some of the stuff I watched, give me my, give you my thoughts. So it's gonna be like my own audio log somewhat of E3. I'll be doing that. So uh, anyway, let's start Lords of the Fall. Let's get down to it. Let's see what this game's all about because I'm actually excited to see if this game is any good. Uh, I mean, for twelve dollars, thirteen dollars, you can't go wrong. I got almost all the DLC, everything with it. So let's see if it's good or not. Let's check it out. I know, I know Starks, I feel, had problems with these games playing it on his console. But for whatever reason, DSP Gaming has the worst luck when it comes to buying games. He buys games, it's buggy as fuck. But when I play them or someone else plays them, they, they, we don't have the same issues. So, DSP is simply just very... Deck i3 Interactive? Okay, I don't know if that's uh, developers or not. DSP just simply has bad luck with playing games. And buying games, rather. Alright, let's see. Lords of the Fallen. This game saves that automatically to the hard disk drive at certain points. Do not switch off the power when this icon is displayed on the upper right corner. Just like Dark Souls. Got it. Makes sense. Searching. Let's check options here. Master volume. Well, for now, let's put the music down a little bit. Put the effects a little bit low too, just in case. Okay. Uh, let's see. No, I wanna. Defo no. There we go. Okay, I, I apparently I wasn't paying attention. So subtitles. Yes. Show health gauges, show damage count, always show quest text. There's a quest, huh? So this is kind of, so this isn't like Dark Souls per se, but it's like an RPG. Camera sensitivity. Let's try, uh, you know what, let's leave it like, let's leave this right here for now. Auto lock on enemies. Switch target or after, switch target after kill, yes. Uh, auto lock to target. Auto lock on. To, 
Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, let's just save that. Actually, you know what? I may want to load the music again. There we go. I want to load the music so I can talk and play at the same time. I can still hear the music. Let's, let's do a new game. Let's see. Save file. How many save files do I have? Okay, let's say, let's do this. Alright, so this is, this is, the, okay, so we have two different class, we have three classes here. We have the magic type, prayer, a motionless clone that attracts enemies' attention to give Harkin, Harkin, I think it's supposed to be Harkin, but I could, Harkin, I guess Harkin, I guess that's how you supposed to pronounce it, I'm bad at pronouncing names, an advantage in combat, increase magic recovery, shelter, a protective shell that, incre that highly increases all types of, of defense and mirrors the incoming damage. Daze, a powerful force that inflicts fear upon the enemies, slowing them down and lo lowering defenses. And punishment, uh, eye for an eye. Enemy attacks are being revenged by stunning opponents. Magic taught by scholars contain mostly defensive spells to heal and protect yourself. This is brawling. Oh, I see. Oh, this is different magic types. I get it. Brawling prayer. So, the art of brawling is to overwhelm your opponent with brute force and mighty spells. Okay, so the prayer is kind of similar to this one, in some ways. Emotionless clone that attracts enemies' attention to give Harkin advantage. Over time, it will also restore some of your health. Rage, a surrounding force that gives more damage attack power and removes energy restrictions. Okay. Quake, your most powerful ally, coming down to help you and slam your enemies with, great, with a giant hammer, wrecking havoc. And Ram. A powerful charging force that, apart from damaging, can stagger or knock down your opponents. And now deception. Deceiving the enemies and injuring them beyond recovery is the main focus of the deceptive magic art uh, type. Prayer, emotional clone. Alright, uh, increases energy recovery. Shift, Harkin moves in shadow dimensions. Any attack he deals is devastating but brings him back to it. Wait, what? Harkin moves into shadow dimensions. Any attack he deals is devastating, but brings him back into... Oh, I get it. I get it. What Shift is trying to say is that when you go into a shift and go to an alternate dimension, you deal tons of damage, but if you attack someone while you're shifting dimensions, you'll be, you'll, you'll be brought back to the normal dimension where they attack you. That's, that, that's actually pretty interesting. I like that. Shift. Sounds nice. Stab. A blood-seeking supernatural assassin that sprints forward... Sprint towards its prey to severely damage or take its life. Mimic. A phase of magic following you. Copying your moves and repeating the damage you've done. Wow. Alright. So. So. This magic sounds pretty cool. Actually, I'm, 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 I might try deception. The whole thing with shifting through dimensions sounds kind of like stealthy. I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Yeah, sure. Let's select it. Equipment selection. Oh, okay. Mostly worn by thieves, scoundrels. This leather armor allows the high mobility. A set of daggers are simple, but very fast and deadly weapons. A buckler shield, mostly used to counterattack the enemy's round. Uh, to uh, counterattack the enemy, rounds off this kit. Rounds off this kit. Oh, okay. A, a set forged by and for the battle of the uh, battle. Ugh, okay, let me repeat. That. Let, let me try this again. A set forged by and for the battle monks of the of the north. The balance between mobility and defense, coupled with a formidable blunt weapon and high quality shield, makes this a solid choice for an all rounder. The standard gear given to pardoned prisoners recruited to the army. Steel armor plates will give the soldier exceptional defense at the cost of agility. A purpose-built sword shield will complement this set. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. So let's look at the equipment. Let's see. Light armor. Defense is 20. Poise is 2. Weight is 3.9. Steel daggers. 8. Power. 100%. Weight. 0 0.7. Buckler. 3, def three defense. 2 poise. 0 0.5 weight. Let's switch to this one. 28 defense. 4.5 poise. 8 weight. 8, eight and a quarter weight, I guess. Uh, defiance hammer 22 damage 8 100% uh, rather power and 1.5 weight and crush shield 4 defense 4 poise 1 weight obviously this has the highest of all of them actually wait a minute look 
2820. This is not too bad, though. I, I might actually go with this, but I want to read this one, though. The Santa Gear, yeah, I already read this, that's right, so let's, so let's look at the equipment. Set of the Warrior, Heavy Armor, 40 Defense, 8 Poise, 12.75 Weight, Sword, 17 Damage, 100% Power, and 1 Weight, and Heavy Shield. Actually, the Heavy Shield looks like, um, well, it says a Kite Shield, but it kind of looks like, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to, th it's, it looks like, um, a shield from Demon Souls. I forget the name of it. The Night Shield, maybe? Yeah, it kind of looks like a Night Shield, kind of, from Demon Souls. Huh. Uh, okay, the Heavy Shield is 5 defense, 8 poise, 1.5 weight. Okay. So, technically speaking... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but I wanna try this. I'll select it. Summary. Harkin. Can I like change his name? No, I guess not. Rogue attributes: strength eight, vitality eight, faith eight, luck three, eleven endurance and agility, health potions five, energy shard one. If I recall correctly, I think they said in in this game if you die and lose your your blood echoes or whatever, you have to retrieve them at a certain point, I think, or or was that, was that Neo, I, I don't remember, I think it was one of the two, I think it was either Neo or this, alright, let, let me see something, luck is terrible, dude, luck is just as bad, dude, I, I guess this is the highest luck you can get, but wait, actually, I was looking at luck, I'm gonna look at the uh, Faith, let me, let me see. Faith is 12 and vit what the hell's Faith? Wait, I can't even hover over this. Faith is 12, Vitality is 10, Strength is 8, 9 Endurance and Agility and 1 Luck. Okay, so that means the other, the, the, the other one is going to have to be Strength and probably uh, Vitality then. Yep, strength and vitality as I thought. Eight, nine, nine. All right, so this really only changes like the stats, I guess. Eight, 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 eleven, eleven, three. It's the most, it's kind of the most balanced of the three. All right, let's select it. Hint: Hold R one to perform a leaping attack. Press R two while sprinting. Leaping attack deals more damage at an extended range. Yeah, so it is just kind of like well, you know, if you were um. If you're playing like uh, Shadow of Mordor, when you launch forward of a high, of a, like a higher distance, you get instant kill someone. I might just uh, tag later. I, I did not pick that. I picked the other thing, but whatever. I guess this is supposed to be someone else. Fallen God. Creator and destroyer of worlds, hear my vow. Wow, check this guy. Pretty badass. Okay. Oh, he took the hammer. I wasn't. I didn't know Mjolnir was in this. Uh, was in this game. It really looks like Mjolnir to me. Hear my vow. My vow of defiance. Oh boy. Wow. Nice AoE attack, bro. He lost. Uh oh, is that a hand? I see you've heard me. Key 
Keystone, Hand of God's Mountains. A different time, a different war. Monastery ahead. I wonder if it's still safe. I wonder oh. if it is still safe. Either way, our quest for Antanas nears a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. Challenging to learn the basics. Approach the marauder. Just ahead using L. If you don't need, if you don't need help, now I'm just press okay. Whatever. The first rule of combat is focus. To focus your senses, land a camera and press R3. The most well time up. Okay, that's blocking. Enemy behavior is bound by the same rules as yours. They can be staggered. This is the perfect time to window to strike. As fast weapons have different move sets, meaning not all strikes fill time windows, of course. Don't stop now. If you press R1 again, the next attack will hit smoothly. Evasion, okay, you just tilt Tilt the other side holding it and press X. Okay. Heavy strikes works only into fast ones. They just take more time to exchange for more damage. Press R2 to really hurt the marauder. You can follow up the next attack with a R2 now. Go on, it's safe. Um, there's no point to that. Second rule of combat is management. The orange bar at the bottom of the screen is your energy. Keep track of it while fighting. It regenerates the most action consumes, but most action consumes it by the way. Congratulations on your victory. Press X to start your adventure. All three bars at the bottom, health, red, energy, orange, and magic, blue, can be leveled up, of course. As you guys can see, I have incredible amounts of stuff, and I got the martyr, the the hammer, and a sword. Castle might help you find and rescue on the pass, whatever. Health potion, attribute sword point, sealer rune small, and spell point sword. I guess that's all the thing from the DLC, the line pack unlocked, <clears throat> ancient labyrinth unlocked. Ah, a parry! They had parries in this. Oh boy! <laughs> this is so far the controls wise. Oh, okay, so you know, actually, this reminds me a little bit of Castlevania. I think you, you, you can actually dodge in Castlevania like this. He, for light armor, he's still fucking heavy. He's like he still feels like clunky. Let me see. Okay, resume. Can I like? There we go. That's what I want, man. I need to start understanding this uh, this menu. It's pretty weird. All right, let's see here. Potions, dagger. Let's see. I have new set of daggers over here. Look, check that out. Oh, uh, can I like? I I don't I don't see the difference between these two. I I can toggle stats, physical damage. Martyrs in ancient a Daluk word meaning uh, Adaluk uh, Aduluk I guess Adaluk word meaning friends. To unleash the power of this weapon, one must trust in it completely and not use a shield. Ah, <laughs> it's dual wielding. I see. I see. Uh, if you look at it, agility scales. The agility scale is not bad. It's four percent. That one's three percent. That's what I'm currently using right now. 
All right, so uh, that's pretty cool. All right. That's what I'm currently using right now. <clears throat> this is obviously better, uh, but I don't think I should be using this right now. <clears throat> I can actually toggle the stats. This weapon can be affected both for striking and blocking. The name is ambiguous because it's Adruk, meaning it, the one, the one who. Ugh, whatever. I I don't even know how to pronounce this correctly. Hopefully, I'm saying it at least decently. Whatever. All right. So let me see the shield. I have the buckler and I have the lions. What the hell? A shield designed for the elite squads of Ninehelm. Ninehelm. Guard known for unshakable courage or unshaken courage, they were using the shield to create unbreakable formations. I'm pretty sure this is this is a tower shield, meaning you can't parry with this. All right, yeah, look, look how heavy it is. Block defense, 75%. But look, that's 100%. But I don't, do I need stats for this? I don't know. It doesn't say anything. St strength required. Well, I do have strength required. It's really, I do have the strength for it. Courage, heavy armor, light armor. Oh, that's why I have heavy armor. What? Unless, wait. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's wrong. I, I this is I have heavy armor, but I'm not really using it at the moment. Oh yeah, see, yeah, it's like I have a whole bunch of different stuff now. I have. What the hell's this? A small chunk of runic material. This material resonates with a specific runic symbol and its effects can only be revealed by a crafted rune forger. Alright. Character development. Infested. Wow. Holy shit. Just look at all this. This is crazy. There's a lot of content for this. All shields have special use that can trigger with L2. Swarm buckles can be used to parry attacks and follow up with a critical strike. Other, other attack types, shield, other types of shields also have a special use. But it still feels like it's. Ah, there we go. I was wondering how you run. Talk to Caslow. I have no idea what Caslow is right now. Oh, he's right here. Never mind. Wow, I, I mean, I'm gonna have to get used to this game, man. This game's kind of, uh, it's, the controls are different, but it's roughly similar. Roughly similar. Block. You attack with this, you know, stuff, stuff like that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's locked. You're still losing blood, Kaslo. The Rogar got you good. I didn't let you out of prison to worry about me. You're no use to me if you bleed to death. I will try to spare you the inconvenience of my death. Oh my god, so it's called the Rogar. Alright, well... How do we open the door? There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps. Or a key. What's this? These, These things, things keep, keep coming. coming. We fight back, but... There are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to. And their smell. It's like fire and death creeping up your nose. One of the creatures we were fighting spat on us. The saliva hit my eye. It burned, and it burns deeper into me. All right, so this guy is obviously getting uh, burned by liquid uh, saliva. That's great. Let me see. There's gotta be. I must have missed something around here. Is there like a jump button? I'm curious. Oh look! Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, I, I can do a wheel with this. <laughs> Um, before we do anything, let me, t I'm gonna check the options, where is it? Can I like, yeah, a little, let's see. 
Light attack, R1, R2, heavy attack, triangle, cycle off, him, okay. Circle to cycle spells, hold to use select a spell. Uh, evade, jump while sprinting. Alright, so it's actually a little bit different than uh, Dark Souls. Press to cycle favorite potions, hold to use select the potions. Okay, so you press to cycle and you hold to use. Alright, so you hold to sprint with X and then you tap it while you're running to, to jump. Um, same thing with the spells. You press circle to cycle between the spells. Okay. Uh, let me see. Cycle gauntlets, unrefined, cycle favorites, uh, down and up are un un undefined at the moment. I think I said the unrefined, I meant undefined. Sprint, block, left hand attack. Shield skills, use gauntlet, left hand, heavy attack. Okay, okay, I get it. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Find it. Oh. Does that tell me where to go, maybe? Maybe. Let's see if it's... Nope, it's just leading me around in circles, I guess. What the hell's he doing? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, see, I just cycled. Yeah. So that one's energy stars, this one's health potion. Gotcha. Let's see. How do you get up there? I have no idea where this key is supposed to be at. Like, it, like... <laughs> I'm trying to find something. I don't see anything here. Like, no nothing's... That's not where I needed to go. Find a key. Here, you know what? I'll, try, I'll, I'll do something later. Let's do this. I'm just going to destroy all these things to see if I can find something here with it. Because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I'm playing this blind because I just da finished downloading a few seconds ago, so I, no uh, so I don't know what I'm doing here. It would have helped if I actually went through here, though. That guy was completely weak. Looks like I need. Oh, okay, I have to go down this way, I guess. There's more enemies around here. You hear that? Hmm, okay. See, ro roaming around for a few seconds actually helped out. Charging. Heavy attacks can be charged. More energy for damage. Try holding the R2 button while, ca while carrying it out. I don't know, I didn't even charge there, I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to charge, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I'm expecting a charge to be like, you know, if you like, you use a shoulder to charge, like a charge bash. Alright. Staying quiet is not only good for avoiding combat, it can get you a head start. For many fights, this means a difference, okay. So I like tiptoe my ass over there, maybe. It 
It is in me, and it is changing me, my skull. The bones are moving, growing. It does not feel like poison in my veins, more like liquid darkness. We have seen with others what happens next. Eyesight goes first, then follows sanity. Brother William, Brother Peter and I won't let the disease take us. We will choose death before it chooses us. Okay, what's this? Seal rune, small, unknown rune, okay. I got a unique drop, I guess, I don't know. If we can keep going down this way, I can go down the stairs. Let's go down the stairs and see what's going on down here. Looks like a bunch of enemies around here. It's possible to change your focus. After locking onto an enemy and pressing R3 to tap into the direction. Yeah, okay, I know all about that. Okay. Somehow just spamming the uh, the attack button seems to work well. <laughs> I think I want to go back with the shield for now and then, and then like take it slow, so, so I can get a feel for this game because it's like brand new. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I thought I wish you can like break the bed. You can't. Fire resistance shard, interesting. Oh, wait a minute, I thought I kicked- Oh, look at this! Can I crouch? Oh, yeah, I can, I can probably roll through here. Aha! That's how you do it. Aha, secrets already! I love it! Empty bottle potion. Oh, okay. I'm guessing there's supposed to be an extra room, but the thing like broke, I guess, and you can't go in there now without doing some nifty uh, rolling around. 